Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Kylina! No! No way in spoke of an empress. An empress of... Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. We returned to India with treasure. Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. They're from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the vizier done to me? I don't... Everything had come full circle. The prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse. He had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! Amongst the Empress. Gave it strength. Babylon. It's so far away. As a child, father would tell me stories. Pay of attention. Something's happening down there. Vizier! He has been completely transformed! Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army. And these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon! My city! My throne! Sure, you can control. Them. Let us hope. If I crash, it is the end for both of us. The prince. Stop him! And so, once more, the prince began the journey home. His mind a fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, 
its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. Is there you have done me a great service show yourself that I might thank you so very strange I wonder no it is silly to think such things I don't like the looks of this thing was once a man he was there when Kylina died Await your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See, now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. Dagger of Time. How did you come to possess that? Here we go again. I took it. From the Vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me. And all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of. But I intend to find him. And punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman? The Prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally.
glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now, let's find the Vizier. That peace could be restored to the land and to our... What? What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. Something happened already. Such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. To conquer a city is one thing, but to do so with such a violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer. Would you like... Are you alright? He has escaped. And you? What of the troops? Dead. All dead. But I saw the Vizier. Or whatever it is he's become. He flew towards the palace. Then we know where to go. Alright. But I seem to be... well... Thank you, Prince. Of course. The problem is, now I am trapped. Just like a woman. Solving her problem creates a new one for you. Allow me to return the favor, then. Returned. Did you hear that? If you know what is good for you, say no. Farah, we must press on. I am sure she will be all right. Are you mad? She was begging for her life. She said there were others. No, we can afford no more delays. Good. Put her in her place. These are your people. You are their prince, and yet you would leave them to suffer? That man has taken everything from me. And now that I have the opportunity to punish him, you want to delay me? Have you forgotten what he did to you? But I... You are burdened by a guilty conscience, Farah. He made you watch as your people suffered, unable to aid them. You are not to blame. Do not let it cloud your judgment. It is not I who suffers from clouded judgment. You may choose not to help them, but you cannot stop me. I go to kill the Vizier! To end this! 
while you run about applying bandages to axe wounds. Good riddance. She had been nothing but a distraction, always getting into trouble and slowing us down. Finally, we can... What? Something could happen to her. I cannot lose her again. No, no, no! You're so close! What you said, and you are right. I... <laughs> Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation? If you really do desire death, kindly wait your turn. I have killed most of the guards. It should be safe. Go and find the women. Free them. I will deal with her. I have. What if I do not kill that sand monster? She will pose a threat. No! No! Not now! If I had some sands for every time someone said that to me. Oh, I do. The women are free and headed to safety. It was right of you to return. Prince? You. You're one of them? No, Farah! This is not how it appears! You're a sand monster! You lied to me all this time! No! I have been tainted by the sands, this is true, but my mind and my heart are my own. Please believe me. You stay away from me! Should I continue from here when you re- Do you see now? The change was physical, nothing more! Why should I believe you? Everything you have done contradicts this. I have seen the way you hunger for combat. You take pleasure in creating death. Your constant talk of bloody vengeance. Your cold disregard for your own people. You heard the women in the brothel as clearly as I did, yet you turned away. But I came back. I came back. For you. You are a prince in title only. Go and reclaim your throne. But know this. You do so alone. You certainly have a way with women. Those you don't get killed can't get far enough away from you. Clearly in danger.
Look at that. A trap. Do you see now what happens when you try to help other people? You die. Pinoch is in here! Going to burn! Help us! Please help us! Ah! Ah! Over here! Over here! Please! Why are you going to help? Oh, Father. Give me guidance. Lend me strength. Where have you gone? Father. Gone. Wait, that's it! Where is the machinery that controls these conveyors? Quickly, please, there is not much time! Above us. The stairs are burned, though. You will never be able to reach it. I will admit, I was not expecting that. Thank you. Lucky shot. We should move. I'm sure more are on the way. <laughs> Separated again. I'll be with you soon. I need to find a way to open this door. Incredible. I have only heard stories of such marvels. But to see one up close... Is there not a similar device in Azad? This lift will bring us to the throne room. But wonder of wonders, it seems to have stopped working. I will try and return it to life. I do hope to visit Azad someday. You've forgotten your mission. What is your favorite color? Color? Shall I repeat the question? Blue. Blue? That's not my favorite color. What is the point of this? Must every conversation we have be so serious? I know so little about you. Very well. Then, what is your favorite food? The pomegranate, of course. I do not like pomegranates. What is wrong with you? They are messy, impossible to eat with dignity. So much work for a few seeds. <laughs> but is it not the effort that makes them that much sweeter? I think I'm going to be sick. What is this place? It is the heart of the Hanging Gardens. These are the instruments of life, regulating and running everything.
There is still no way for me to get to you. However, you can reach the throne room from where you stand. And I can pass through the greenhouse. This will certainly bring us to the same location. Be careful, Prince. Do not take another step! I am impressed you made it past my little welcoming party. Impressed, but also quite annoyed. You have robbed me of my strongest allies. It would be unfair of me not to return the favor. Farah will make an excellent queen, fit for a god. Although we will need to make some modifications. Let her go! <laughs> you act as though you have a say in the matter. Which you don't. Say hello to your- The prince was cast to his death into a pit of darkness. Robbed of Pharaoh, distanced from the vizier, he had been warned that his journey would not end well. Ah, but do not be surprised. The prince's transformation saved him. Sometimes good can come of ill. Sometimes. Should I continue? Father's sword? But what is it doing here? Oh, come on now. Did you really expect to find him alive? Even after everything you have experienced, still you hold out hope. Oh, Father. What have I done? What now, then? Gather up enough sand? Perform another grand rewind? Or perhaps you can return to the island and travel back to a time when he might still be saved. Maybe rescue a damsel in distress along the way. No! You are right. I have been like a child. Naive and arrogant. Always rushing to undo my mistakes. Never facing the consequences of my actions. No more. I accept what I have done, and all that it implies. What is this? You have no water? How did you- You hold no power over me now. Be gone. Retreat to whatever dark hole spawned you, and do not trouble me again. Now, where did I put those pistols? Zervan? What is it? In case I don't get the chance again. You impudent pig! I offer you life eternal, and this is how you respond? Oh, I shall enjoy changing you. Hello, Prince. Not quite the homecoming you expected.
What did you expect? That when you slew the vizier, I would simply disappear? Oh, but you are so blind. Your rage, your pride, your selfish ways, they gave me form and substance. Even with the sand god, I have the strength to remain. And with the vizier god, I can take your place and rule the kingdom. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. You have the ability to manipulate time itself. You had the chance to be the greatest king the world has ever known. What wars you could have fought. What monuments you could have erected in your honor. What women you could have kept. You failed me, prince. You grew soft and sympathetic. My attempts to convince you to seek glory fell on deaf ears. So I bided my time, waiting for the proper moment to strike. You do not deserve what you have been given. Control of the world's greatest empire. With the power at your command, you could rule the world. You have squandered it, Prince. I would do it justice, and so it should be mine. You are just a parasite! You deserve nothing! But don't I? Have I not earned it? Do you think you would be here now if not for me? How many times did I save you? How many times did I unblock your path, take down your enemies, remind you of your mission, while all you did was cry about your father, and Kylina, and Farah? how everything bad always happens to you? Boo-hoo, Prince! Your words are empty, have always been empty. You are just a desperate, selfish spirit. If I am selfish, Prince, it is because you are. If I am ruthless and reckless and lacking in morals, it is because you are. I did not spin myself out of the ether. I was not conjured by some mad vizier. I am you. No. I have seen the error of my ways. And I have atoned for the transgressions of my past. I am no longer that person. Seasons change. Tastes change. But people... Prince, leave this place. It reeks of sadness and cruel intentions. You must not chase this shadow. Turn away. Wake up. I will lead you. Do you need to kill me then? To cut me down like all your other enemies? Swing that sword, Prince! <laughs> We've seen how well that works. Such violence! Your anger serves only to feed me. So I have to ask, have you really- Is this where I should reason as you wish?